Have you ever wondered why Africa appears smaller on the world map? It's a question that puzzles many, but the reasons behind this geographical misrepresentation are quite fascinating. Firstly, it's crucial to understand that the Earth is a three-dimensional sphere, while maps are two-dimensional representations. This discrepancy necessitates the use of a map projection, a method of translating the Earth's spherical surface onto a flat plane. However, this process inevitably leads to distortions in size, shape, distance or direction. The most common map projection in use today is the Mercator projection, created by Gerardus Mercator in the 16th century. This cylindrical map projection preserves accurate direction, making it incredibly useful for navigation and marine charts. However, it significantly distorts the size of land masses, especially as one moves away from the equator towards the poles. This distortion explains why Greenland appears almost the same size as Africa on a Mercator map, despite Africa being 14 times larger. Africa, sitting primarily along the equator, suffers from this distortion. While it may appear smaller on the map, the reality is quite different. In fact, Africa is larger than China, India, the contiguous United States, and most of Europe combined. So, why does this misrepresentation continue to persist? One reason is tradition. The Mercator projection has been in use for hundreds of years and is deeply ingrained in our global consciousness. Another reason is convenience. The Mercator's rectangular shape fits neatly on a standard sheet of paper or a computer screen, making it an easy choice for many map makers. The size distortion of Africa on the world map is an intriguing example of how our perceptions can be shaped by the tools we use. It's a reminder that maps, like any other representation of reality, are not neutral but carry the biases of their creators and users. In summary, Africa appears smaller on the world map due to the inherent distortions of the Mercator map projection, which enlarges areas further from the equator and shrinks those near it. This distortion, combined with tradition and convenience, has perpetuated the misrepresentation of Africa's true size. But remember, Africa is a vast continent, larger than China, India, the contiguous United States, and most of Europe combined. Now, isn't that a geographical wonder worth appreciating?